Hey guys, it's me again, the creator of I Am Legion for Dying Light. I'm here with a quick video to talk about the new features of the installation along with how to add other mods uh, to I Am Legion afterwards. Um, if anybody was having any issues such as crashes or anything like that with the prior versions, uh, this mod is specifically for you guys, this uh, new installer that I've worked on. Um, what we're going to do is, before we get started, um, we're going to go ahead and go over to My Documents, um, Dying Light, Out, and Data, and then in this folder, if there's anything in there whatsoever, go ahead and delete it. Even if it's other mods, uh, we're going to want to reinstall those afterwards uh, along with this tutorial video so I can make sure everybody's on the same page so we can eliminate any future issues anybody may be having. So once this folder is clear, you can go ahead and whichever version you've selected, either Ultimate Survivor or Survivor, go ahead and run the installation. Once the installation is started, we're going to go ahead and hit the next button, and you're going to see this folder location um, that it's asking for. This is looking for the DW folder in your Dying Light uh, installation. Uh, this is not the same for everybody. If everybody it was on Steam, then I could easily make it a default but some people are running a non steam version of the game uh, so go ahead and select where your dying light is located uh, look for this DW folder and hit select folder once you have that selected go ahead and hit next now before I hit install I'm gonna go back over to my my documents this will also be installing other files on top of your data 3 into your my documents both are required in order for this mod to work with everybody else um, so that nobody gets any errors with the cannot join during co-op and that kind of thing. Everybody has to be on the same standard. So we're going to go ahead and hit the install button. And there you have it. It's done. Uh, everything's installed on your system. You should be able to run uh, Dying Light and uh, play the mod without any issues from this point on. Um, when you go to uh, delete this, if there's any updates or anything like that, uh, you can either run this file or uh, go over to your My Documents, Add and Remove, uh, to remove uh, this mod. And when you hit Uninstall, it should automatically remove everything um, so to set you back to a default version of... Uh, dying light. So that way if you're playing with someone who's on a default version that doesn't want to use mods, um, you don't have to sit there and nitpick and pull everything out yourself. The installer will now do it for you. Uh, if you want to switch easily between Survivor Edition and Ultimate Survivor, you can run this file. And when you hit Next, you'll also see Remove button. You can go ahead and hit Remove and it'll do the same thing as uninstalling it from control panel. So now that I Am Legion is installed, uh, we're going to quickly cover how to add other mods uh, to this file. Um, for example, uh, Advanced Moves is something I've talked about since I first started uh, making this mod. Um, it works seamlessly with I Am Legion uh, and is highly recommended. Um, we're going to go ahead and use this as our default and, uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to add this. So for Dying Light, as I was saying earlier, you have your My Documents uh, folder and then you also have your Data 3. You're going to go over to your Data 3, which is located in your installed directory, and I use WinRare. Um, this opens any rare file and is perfect for opening uh, pack files, PK3s, uh, any other game folders um, without any problems, ISOs, etc., etc. So we're going to go over to our Data 3 folder and we're going to open that up and then you're going to go over to your advanced moves when you open it you're going to see he has data and he also has data 3 so this is intended for your install folder location and this is intended for your my documents um, so we're going to go ahead and open the data 3 and then inside data you're going to see these folders in order to get this mod to properly work with I Am Legion you simply have to transfer this to this. So remember our locations here. This is the file that's located in your DW. Go back here and drag and drop these exactly like this. Make sure that when you do this you're opening it up from this data file. If you're adding it and it says AI data scripts and then skills then you've done it wrong. You want these files inside added like this. 
once you're done with this you're gonna head back over to your my documents side of the house and you're gonna do the same thing just grab these files from the data 3 and drag and drop them into your my documents it will say that there are similar folders however there are no files that overwrite themselves this done you now have the latest version of I am Legion and the latest version of advanced moves and you shouldn't have any issues with files being uh, in the wrong place everything should be set up correctly um, go ahead and try this out I hope everybody gets on board with the latest version um, I have added a couple of new things a couple of people were asking uh, about flashlights and that kind of thing um, so I went through today and what I primarily worked on was once again the looting system inventory um, and a couple of features to make it a little bit harder um, for everyone that had issues with nighttime being the same thing as daytime uh, so now your flashlight is set to where it'll work only for a certain amount of time and then it requires time to charge back up. Um, you can use this along with your UV flashlight um, to try to navigate at night but I've also made it to where I've increased the realism for flares. If you actually look up how long flares are supposed to burn, flares are supposed to burn for the standard of 15 minutes. So this is now reflected inside the game. It will actually burn for 15 minutes in game. Um, along with the upgraded versions of the flares uh, which you get through a quest is uh, 20 minutes I believe um, so now that your flashlight wears out and your UV flashlight we all know that one wears down I increased the time just a little bit because the view distance is much greater with the UV flashlight than it is with a regular flashlight so this is good for quickly shooting through the dark to try to uh, plan a course and evade and uh, and get out of there if need be um, along with these flares that you can throw out through the city I would recommend before you get started on a quest throwing a couple of them around the city uh, that the area that you're gonna go and try to get in and then use them as pointers to get back to where you're trying to go or use them to illuminate the city um, and and try to you know stay around those areas so you're not constantly in the dark from your flashlight burning out um, while this is not as realistic as I would like, um, a lot of people are saying that because the hard mod uh, already had it, hard mode already had it, um, that they kind of wanted it to see it back in the game. Uh, I took it out um, just because I simply didn't. I mean, if I go buy a flashlight from Lowe's Hardware, I don't expect it to only last for three minutes in the dark before needing new batteries, but each their own uh, the difficulty is now increased a little bit um, so you kind of have to be more strategic uh, in your night play um, a couple other features that were added I went through and completely redid all the weapons that are DLC related the punk queen and all those weapons that you got from the beginning um, for some reason they decided to use weapons that uh, like the baton and, uh, and one of them was like the wooden table leg and and like all these other weapons that were nice later on in the game for some reason they decided to use the DLC weapons as the beginner weapons um, so I kind of went back and tried to make it to where I would even attempt to create these weapons which before I never really have um, I paid 15 10 15 dollars uh, before uh, the game came out for these weapons uh, and I've never really used them. Um, so I went back and I, I changed things to where uh, they do have certain perks. Uh, for example, they last a very long time. Uh, so if you need a good durable weapon that will last a long time that's good for smashing heads, cutting arms, and that kind of thing, then these weapons are now a viable option. Um, I also went through and uh, messed around with the loot options a little bit more uh, because of this mod and I made the point with a few people that have been asking about humans if you're a human survivor there's a reason that you survive this long so why do we have AI that are walking around on the ground um, not climbing buildings not evading um, so to kind of help with this uh, until I can find a better method uh, I have made it to where uh, enemies now drop uh, things like firecrackers and they drop molotovs grenades um, and that kind of thing. Weapons that you would use to distract zombies, uh, they now carry. Um, in the future, I would like to make it to where they actually use these weapons, such as Molotovs and Firecrackers, uh, to draw away enemies. But for now, that's the best I can do um, until a later version. Um, some of the other things I went through, I tried a lot of different features uh, and options. The biggest thing was I was trying to get rid of the problem with the GRE. Um, that one is still elusive. I'm I'm still gonna have to mess around with some things later. Uh, hopefully, when the developer 
the uh, developer tools become more viable um, but for now that's that's where we're at but the game should work without any crashes now any animation glitches um, I implore you if anybody is having any issues please try to keep your comments and feedback to the Nexus uh, or mod database so that way I can kinda keep track of um, of what's going on I, I've actually found a few articles on Steam and a few other places where people are having issues have concerns have feedback um, and I'm only able to see them because I google my own mod uh, to see where all it's gone um, and so I would like to try to keep everybody in one area so we can continue to build this mod um, or I can continue to build this mod and make it into something that's enjoyable for everyone without you know giving that initial like kick oh my gosh it's crazy kind of thing but then once you're level 18 you start to feel like there's no need to play the game anymore so I'm gonna continue to work towards this and I need you guys to continue to give me feedback and let me know what's going on if anybody is still having issues with installing the mod please let me know and uh, I'll address it as soon as I can but until then enjoy version 1.12 uh, if you do not like the new upgrades the grenades being dropped by humans and all these other things that I just briefly talked about you can still use version 1.11 I won't be offended uh, just leave me a little comment I did create a forum section where I really do need more people to get on and start giving me pros cons what they like dislike so that way I know which which way to kind of go with the mod and it's not going to be based entirely on one person's opinion per se but if I start to get a lot of feedback that something doesn't make sense I will fix it so until the next mod um, it might be a little bit but I have a lot of stuff going on but uh, please continue to donate support get the word out and uh, I hope everybody enjoys and I hope to see everybody in Haran